Uh, and wanted to uh, welcome our next set of panelists. Apple was actually the first uh, company to officially join that FinOpster Enterprise program. Uh, little company that you may have heard of. They probably, I'm guessing, have a lot of cloud spin given what they do. Uh, so we're going to be joined by William Bryant and Benjamin Coles from there, uh, and our very own Ashley Ramatko, uh, who has a long, I think, three-year history now with the foundation. She was on the original board, then she was on the tech, and uh, all the while she was uh, head of FinOps at Pearson, driving their large practice. Uh, is going to be emceeing and asking them about the experience there. So welcome them to the stage. I'm so excited to be here, and it's just absolutely wonderful to see all the consultants, the practitioners, and the vendors here. Um, I'm nervous, though, like in a different way. Prior to this, I was nervous because I was a speaker at a lot of these events, and this time, like, I just wanted to be like the best event for all of you. Um, and the reason for that is because I was a practitioner, um, managing a team, pretty large team, up until a couple months ago, and really four years ago, I was the person doing the bill, buying the reservations, um, forecasting in a spreadsheet. And so I've been there. I know what you guys have gone through. And I volunteer with the foundation because I didn't know what FinOps was four years ago. Um, I read an article, found the word, and I instantly went to Google and I was like, that's what I'm doing. I need to find people mm -hmm. that do that. And I found the FinOps Foundation website. It had probably been only launched like 30 days. And I went up to the top corner and I said, join. Was like, hopefully they let me join this thing, um, and they did. And ever since then, JR's like, hey, can you be on our governing board? Can you be on our TAC? Can you launch a working group? And pretty much everything he's asked me to do sounded exciting, so I did it. Um, and a couple months ago, he said, we're going to launch this new enterprise membership program. Will you help come launch it? And for me, it felt kind of coming full circle, right? I joined the Finance Foundation as an individual. I came here for help. I didn't want to feel so alone. And so to be able to sit with you guys and other enterprises and help you guys accelerate your journey um, and be part of that, like I'm really excited for that next chapter the Foundation's doing. So enough about me. Let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit about Apple. Um, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about what your, um, your roles are at Apple? What do you do? Yeah, so I leave a, an engineering team over in the finance organization. I've been there for about 10 years, and uh, the, I first started off there doing SRE and DevOps. Uh, it's really interesting and fascinating, but you know, in the last three years, it's been primarily focused on doing the, the engineering bit and bringing tools like, uh, what is it, for cost optimization and a little bit about understanding forecasting, which is helping people like William Bryant right here. Yep. Hi everyone, I'm Will. I've uh, been at Apple for just under two years now. Um, I'm in a finance organization, so I manage all of the uh, forecasting, chargebacks, and budget management, um, things like that, and cost modeling. So. I love it. I always get excited when they say, I'm in the finance org. I'm like, yay. <laughs> um, so set the stage to the audience. Where is Apple on your cloud journey, your uh, digital transformation? What are you guys doing, Benjamin? So, so obviously, Apple is a very large company, and so we have different uh, stages of the, the crawl, walk, and run. And for some of the stages, you know, like some of the groups are just starting out, and we have cloud engineering groups that kind of help people onboard quicker. Uh, but what's really interesting is for some of those run groups, it's, it's really cool because they've developed some tools, and they're able to move really quickly. Uh, so yeah, we're all over the place, but you know, we're making progress. Yeah. I like that too. That like you have some other, some different organizations that are like in different crawl, walk, run stages, and that they can actually like learn from each other. Mm -hmm. So in a way, you're creating your own community to upskill within your organization. That's just amazing. Um, so we talk a lot about FinOps. You know, uh, when you're trying to do FinOps, you have to create an adoption roadmap. When you're going to do the first 30, 60 days, oftentimes you have to uh, pitch what FinOps is to executives. That also means um, they have to know what it is. So like, how did that journey go for you? Um, and like, how did you get the executive team to buy in? Uh, so, you know, you kind of rewind a little bit, all right? You have to understand, you know, like kind of the, the journey into using the cloud. Uh, initially, you know, everybody says, hey, we're going to open the floodgates, and everybody jumps to the cloud, and we have a lot of developer velocity that happens. Uh, but when we started taking that back and looking at the, the finance spending, we started saying, wait, there's also this other bit of losing control of the spending. And so we wanted to go back and, and meet with teams and see, you know, what would be the right thing to do. Uh, when we started asking questions, we started to ascertain that, you know, like there's uh, like more questions lead to more questions, right? We got reporting and then we got led to efficiency. Mm -hmm. And what we discovered was it was a, a little bit of both, right? Developers were able to move a lot quicker, but at the same time, spending needed to be curbed. 
what I, I really enjoyed about you know the FinOps community and just bringing this all together is is that you know people were having the same kind of struggles. So when we started bringing that into the company, right? Like it, it became very apparent that hey, we can we have like this bridge, and so we pitched it to our executives like we needed to have a partnership. Um, you know the it, the partnership idea went very well, right? With the finance, engineering, and leadership teams that you know was given a green lit. That's awesome. Uh, being, Apple being a tech company, like how does the FinOps practice support your mission to bring the best user experience to customers through innovation of hardware, software, and services? Will you want to take this one? Yeah. So I think for, um, for us, FinOps allows us to be more, how can I put this, make smarter, more informed decisions um, when it comes to our managing our cloud spend. And because we're being smarter and, more, and making those and better decisions, it allows our engineers to you know, continue pushing those creative boundaries and just overall improving the, the products and services that we love and rely on um, every day. So I think that's, that's, that's pretty much how we're handling that. I love that. I know when I fit up my FedOps practice, we always talked about we were stewardships of the cloud, mm -hmm. um, but we never wanted to be disruptive. Yeah. We never wanted to have something go, an application go down because we needed to right size in the middle of the day. So mm -hmm. I think always being conscious of that, and I'm sure having a very strong engineering culture, that's important to you. Oh, absolutely. And the, the difference now is that they're still building those services. They're just thinking about it in a more efficient manner. Or thinking amazing. about trying to build them in a more efficient manner. Oh, wow, so, that's yeah. amazing. So I'm always curious about what everyone's capabilities that they're focused on right now, and what they're working on, and where, where is that maturity stage at and those capabilities that you're, you're really thinking about day to day? Uh, for us right now, I would say our main focus is, our main focus is on uh, cost allocation, forecasting and budget management. Um, for cost allocation, we're probably in the final phase, final stage of the walk phase. Um, we're currently partnering with all the different business teams and just establishing an hierarchies, um, establishing hierarchies that makes more sense for them for, from a reporting standpoint, showing back costs, uh, allocating those charges and things like that. From a forecasting and budget management, we're in the early phases. Um, we recently, probably as the last few quarters, established a monthly cadence with the, each team, right? Well, probably each org, mm -hmm. and within those orgs and those monthly cadences, we discuss, you know, forecasting, their actuals, um, managing the budget, and things like that. So we're um, in the early phases of that. When you're developing these things, are you getting a lot of your feedback from the engineers on what you build next? Oh, absolutely. That's good. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. So a little uh, later on, we're gonna have the financial companies come out, um, but I'm always fascinated, Apple being an engineering company, um, we talk all the time about trying to get engineers to take action. So Benjamin, um, do you feel like being an engineering company that's helped, hindered you, and in what ways has it helped? So yes and no, right? I, I think that, um, you know, from the perspective, you know, we're able to talk a little bit of the same language, right? But when working with other engineers, right, we run into, uh, like, hurdles, like, you know, when we try to ask them to save money or optimize for efficiency, they end up, you know, stumbling over it a little bit. So there is that little bit of a language barrier in trying to help uh, each other understand where we're trying to go. Um, so the, the thing that's really cool, though, is, you know, we have the FinOps community, and we can definitely link out to the community and say, hey, you know, people outside the company are doing this, too. And then infer that internally, and then people say, okay, you know, if somebody else has done this in practice, you know, that, that's really helpful, right? Because we're all a community trying to learn. I love that. Um, the FinOps framework has been a tool set um, that, you know, uh, we use to judge where our maturity is. And it's kind of fun because being a part of the FinOps staff, uh, we debate a lot about things. JR just mentioned something that I don't agree with him about. Uh, and so that's been kind of fun. I'm curious about you guys as you're trying to, like, roll out the FinOps framework. Like, have you had disagreements or things that you don't necessarily see eye to eye on? You want to go first? <laughs> Should we debate it now? Oh, no, no, we'll definitely <laughs> debate it right now. I, I, I think that, you know, that I'm more of the optimist, right? Like, I think that, you know, we are making strides in the space, right? Um, but obviously, Apple being a, a much larger company, right, there's, it's like that same thing I mentioned earlier where we're just different phases, right? I like to say that we're a lot further along, and I know that <laughs> William would disagree. I, um, I, like, I, don't, I don't like to say that I'm a pessimist. I just... Um, how can I put this? Show me, right? Um, but I do think we're, we're definitely making strides. I just kind of wish those strides would be a lot quicker. 
I always appreciated that though. I feel like I'd have an idea and then I'd get someone to debate with me mm -hmm. a little on my team and kind of question me and I love that like because it kind of level sets you yeah. too. So that's great. So um, what advice would you give uh, to a FinOps driver trying to start out and build a team and a practice in the organization? William, you want to take that? Yeah, I'll take that one. So I would say just, you know, be patient, right? The first couple months are going to be uh, like drinking from a fire hose, you know, just kind of hold on and learn and absorb as much as you can. Eventually, things will start clicking, and you know the things that you learn from the foundation, um, those practices, you'll start noticing them in your day-to-day -day lives, right, in the business. Um, after that, I think you probably should definitely leverage the community. There's a lot of shared knowledge out there, and it's invaluable. So if, learn, learn as much as you can, leverage the community, and um, build a solid team around you. Try to build a diverse team. When I say diverse, don't try to, you know, put people on your team that think like you do. Bring people that, you know, put people on your team that have different perspectives and that are going to look at problems from a different angle. So that's, that would be my advice. I love that. Every time I, um, sometimes I teach the practitioner course and, or I sit in on it, and every time I take it, I learn something new from that yeah. course. And that's what I think is so amazing is to keep, you can go relook at the framework, you can go relook at yeah. a white paper and, a light bulb will go off. So continue to be a learner always. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I have to ask, you know, are you hiring? Hiring anytime soon? Uh, <laughs> actually, yes. Yeah. So um, just brought, brought a person onto the team that starts in a couple of weeks. Um, and we have a rec coming probably sometime within the next quarter, probably maybe towards the end of the next quarter. Um, so yeah, just go to the Apple Jobs career site and just be on the lookout. That's awesome. Yeah. I do want to thank you guys. I know, especially Benjamin, we've been slacking back and forth. I'm like, what do you think about this? And you always give great feedback. So I'm really excited about this partnership and, and see how we can continue to help other enterprise adapt quickly. Yeah. So appreciate cool. everything. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you all. Sure. Thank you. Okay. JR here from the FinOps Foundation. Thank you for watching. Please go to finops.org if you want to get plugged into this amazing community. And of course, hit subscribe right here on YouTube to get all the future content. Hope to see you soon.